In the early days, he was being checked every few days by a you know, pediatrician or whatever, checking his um, platelets and jaundice and all that. Um, he's been followed by audiologists, speech therapists, occupational therapists, physio, Australian hearing. Australian hearing in Australia, they do everything um, involved with the hearing aids. So, so this is his right one, and I don't know if you can tell, but the right one is bigger than the left one. That is because his right ear is profound, and his left ear is moderate to severe. So his left ear is his better ear. Um, what was I going to say? Yes, Australian hearing does everything to do with his hearing aids. They do the moles which is the part that goes, that one's both got wax on it, but they do the moles, which go in his ear. So that, that comes off, but I won't take it off if I had you back on. And they also program the settings, for it. you know, how much it will, <coughs> how much sound it lets in and how magnified it is, basically. <coughs> so yeah, that's what Australian hearing does. And he's also been followed by a paediatrician this whole time. Um, yeah, so in the early days it was like, oh my god, multiple appointments each week. But now, it's every, you know, few weeks, a uh, few months or more, like, his paediatrician sees him six, every six months, so like twice a year. Um, physio, they'll see him maybe once every month or every two or three months. Um, speech therapy he has every single week on a Wednesday at 4 o'clock it's for an hour and it's one on one with his speech therapist um yep so so far he's doing great none of them are worried at all in the slightest every, he's coming on perfectly everyone is so shocked at how well he's done and everything that he's um achieved and he's Progress and development. Why is that? I mean, he started walking tonight, so. That's just, as you can see, <laughs> emotional. Um, yeah, just in time for his second birthday in July, so. And I didn't think. I didn't think he'd start walking for his second birthday, but he yeah. has. It's just the greatest thing to see him doing everything that they said he wouldn't do. And he's just proved them all wrong. At every single step of the way, he's proved them all wrong. But, you know, they said he wouldn't do it, and he did. Like, one of the nurses said, um, when I went to try and breastfeed him, she said, um, well, like, don't get your hopes up because. You know, he's so sick, he probably won't latch on. And I was just like, thanks for that, like, thanks for the encouragement, you know. <laughs> like, bitch. <laughs> but, um, he did, he latched on. And he did great. And then, um, I wanted to try again at his next feed. And this one was like, oh, again, you know. The first one would have worn him out, so I highly doubt he'll latch on the second time. And I was just like, well... I'm gonna try. <laughs> you know, like, it doesn't come up at, at me, you know, saying this stuff, like, uh, you know, this is hard enough to deal with without having me in my face saying what my son can and can't do, like, having no faith in him at all. But he, he stopped like a trooper, he did even better the second time. You know, and the community crib thing, they said, you know, He'll probably go back in because Premies can't hold their temperature. He didn't go back in. So everything they said he wouldn't do or couldn't do, he's done. Every single thing. So, oh, his name. We chose names when I was only a few weeks pregnant. And um, we chose Caden for a boy. And it's actually Celtic for warrior. So we chose that uh, like. 
you know, well, well before, obviously, you know, anything went wrong, so it turned out to be such a really good fitting name for him, you know. He's our little warrior and he's been through so much and he's so strong. Yeah. Um, that's it. Like I said, if you've got any questions, you know, you want more detail or whatever, because I mean, there's a lot I skipped, like, I didn't go into full on detail because, oh shit, this is probably going to be five parts and that's 50 minutes, and it's like, you know, <laughs> we're going to have time to sit down and watch 50 minutes of me blubbering on and crying and, you know, I mean, um, I hope, you know, you guys watch it, because I mean, you know, I've got a different perspective on birth, and, um, you know, if I can prevent just one baby from getting congenital CMV, then it's been worth it, because no parent, and definitely no innocent baby, should ever, ever have to go through what he did. No. <laughs> Sorry, crying. Um, speech is coming along good. He's got over 20 words now, so he's doing great. And I'm gonna leave it there because you've seen enough of me bothering and crying. And, uh, I've had enough of crying. Okay, so I'm gonna end it there. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.